Hi, welcome back to Finally Revealed and this week's episode of Be The Change. This week we're going, we want to look at everything else. So we've been focusing on what you're changing, whether it's for yourself, your family, your job, what you do for a living, or a new initiative for your community, what you're going to do and what you are doing to progress and get in that mode and move forward on that initiative. What we want to do this week is look at everything else. So, what, so this week we want to take a check around what the other parts of your life are and go through them, pick a different one each day and do a simple five or 10 minute check for yourself on where you are in these different areas and how you're doing. So while you're excited and focusing and working towards your change, you don't want to neglect the other areas of your life because that's going to eventually bleed over into your area of change. Not saving things for later. We want to maintain levels on everything that we're doing. We want to look at yourself, your family, your belongings, where you live, how you're working, and your relationships. And after you do it this week, then you should come back and regularly check on these areas. You want to make sure that you're giving the right attention to these different areas as you are moving forward with your change. And yes, some of these areas are exactly what you're changing and some of these or most of these areas may be changing as a result of the steps that you're taking on your building blocks to your big change. By looking at these different areas this week and then regularly as you go forward, you're going to benefit yourself in four ways. First, you're going to keep yourself open and ready to make the change in those areas or affect those areas consciously because they're going to be taken care of. They're going to be okay. You're not going to have to go back, dust them off, clean them up, make amends, get caught up, and then be able to make a change there or transfer your existing change over into that area. They're going to be ready to go when you are. The next way this is going to help you is by allowing you to be able to be flexible and have open options. Different areas in your life stable and prepared, then you're going to be able to make new initiatives and take advantage of opportunities that you might not otherwise be able to if you had to go back and repair or get ready in one of those areas. So by having them maintained and ready to go, while you might think the first part of your change is going to be on yourself and then you're going to translate it over to your family, maybe something pops up in your job or where you live or an opportunity comes up where you can take advantage of it if you are in good shape there. The third way this is going to help you on your changes is, is by allowing you to make, maintain focus on the area that you want to change and the steps and building blocks as those expand and possibly crowd out or replace other things in your life. If you neglect some things that need, need care or need attention, you're not going to be able to move ahead as productively and intentionally as you want to on your area of change. And the fourth way and final way that this is going to help you on your efforts to make change and your intention to follow through and implement the decision for change that you have made is it's going to allow you to stay on track and work towards your building blocks, continue to gather information, to continue to implement the steps that are going to work towards the change that you are manifesting and creating and allowing the different information to come in and being open to the opportunities because neglected or let something slide. In other words, a whole new situation or problem or series of problems can come up if you let one of these areas slide and then that could divert your attention and drag you off track on your change. 
We don't want that to happen. So go through this week. Start with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, seven areas. Start out with you taking care of yourself, your, your health, your grooming, your schedule, your sleep, your food, your exercise. How are you doing? Are you keeping up on all those things? The next day, your home. How are, how are you taking care of? Is everything in working order? Is there anything that needs to be done? Is anything coming up scheduled for maintenance? Are all the payments made? How are you doing? The net, your family, whether it's pets, people, roommates, siblings, children, spouse. How, how is everybody doing? Are you interacting? Are you caring for the people in your family? Are you doing the things that are expected of you that you've agreed to do? Are you keeping up on your responsibilities there? The next one is your finances. Are you letting anything slide? Are you keeping up on everything? Is there anything that you need to pay attention to? Is there a past due bill? Is there some something coming up that you need to be prepared to pay for? How are you doing there? Are your finances in good working order? Next is your job. Are you doing everything there that you need to? Are you preparing on time? Are you following through? Are you observing the rules there? Are you, are you not taking too much time for personal time on your new project? Are you respecting boundaries? Are you somebody that they can count on? Are you giving it your best effort? Even if your change, and especially if your change involves changing your career or maybe leaving where you are, you want to make sure that you're going to be able to leave on good terms, that you're leaving everybody with a good impression, that you are on the job, that you are dependable, and that you are really following through and showing up every day. And the final one is your relationships all of your relationships with your significant other, with your family, with your friends, with your coworkers, with everybody that is in your immediate vicinity and your life. Are you tending to those relationships? Maybe you're pulling a little bit of time back to devote on your change and the different building blocks and are you communicating that to these people? so that they know you're still there for them you and them so that you can really build upon those healthy relationships all of this and keeping track of it and and evaluating where you are and taking responsibility for your part in these different areas is going to reinforce you becoming more conscious in everything you do and part of your change is realizing something you wanted something that is going to enhance your life and add to your life and make you happier and you have consciously chosen that so you want to look around at the other things that you have already started and things that are necessary for you as a person to keep you in good stead with you not for anybody else's purposes but for you and consciously participate in those different areas and give yourself a check every once in a while. So do that this week. Find out if you've started letting something slide, pull it back up, make a plan to do that a little bit at a time, keep going on your change, and meet me back here next Sunday. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Share this with someone it may benefit regardless of whether they're participating in our, in our change program or not. Leave any comments or questions below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, come back and see me next time. Thanks for watching.